Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss what is XLOOKUP function, how we can use it and what are benefits or plus points of using XLOOKUP function over the VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and index match function. So let's get started. XLOOKUP is one of the most powerful and competitively a new function. We can say XLOOKUP is the best alternative of VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and index match function because XLOOKUP can do the wonders that VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and index match functions cannot do. The goal of XLOOKUP function is almost the same, to look up a value from a column or from a row and return a value from a related column or from a related row. There are in total 6 arguments in XLOOKUP function. You can see here we have XLOOKUP function, here are 6 arguments that is lookup value, lookup array, return array if not found, match mode and search mode. Out of these 6 arguments, the first 3 arguments are required. The last 3 arguments, you can see these 3 arguments are in square brackets so these three arguments are optional but to get the required results from x lookup function at least we have to provide these first three arguments for example here you can see here we have been used x lookup function to get the sales of this employee from this table how we have been used here we have been used x lookup function the first argument that we have been provided is we lookup value that is this cell in which we have employee name the second argument is lookup array. This is the column or row in which we can find this employee name. So in this table, we have column H in which we have employee names. So we have been simply selected column H. That is our lookup array. The third argument, you can see third argument is return array. This is the column or related column of column H from which we can get this required result that is total sales. So for employees, we have total sales in column J. So we have been simply selected column J and it will give us the sales of this employee David. What XLOOKUP function has done, XLOOKUP function will find this value from this column H. Where it will find this value or this name of employee in column H, it will go to the return array. The return array is column J that we have been selected. So on intersection of return array and this employee name, the value that whatever we have that is sales of this employee David XLOOKUP function will return us this value. If you have noticed that in XLOOKUP function we have not provided anything that we need exact match or approximate match. This is one of the benefits or plus points of using XLOOKUP function over the VLOOKUP function. If you know in VLOOKUP function we have to provide that we need to use exact match or approximate match. For example, if let's say if I use a VLOOKUP function, VLOOKUP function, I will select lookup value, then comma, then table array. I will select this employee name till this column in which we have sales. Then comma, then column index number, first, second, third, in third column, we have the sales. I will insert here three, then comma. Then the last argument that we need to provide here is to select do we need to use exact match or approximate match. So in VLOOKUP, we have to use the match type. So I will close parenthesis enter and you can see we have to use the match type then VLOOKUP function will give us required result. But in XLOOKUP function, we don't need to select any type of match because by default XLOOKUP function works on exact match. If you want to use exact match, you don't need to provide here anything. If you want to use a approximate match, then you need to care about then you need to insert a two comma and you will see here you can find here exact match or exact match or next smaller item exact match or next larger item and wildcard characters in case if you want to use the approximate match these are the two options you need to select exact match or next small smaller item exact match or next larger item this is a kind of approximate match and this is very useful if you are calculating the commission. The last thing that we have here, wildcard card character, this is an additional thing that we can use. For example, if let's say we don't know the full name of this employee, then we can use wild card characters. For example, let's say if I we don't know and we let's say in place of David, in place of I, 
we don't know it is I or it is E. So I will simply select here wildcard and then what we will do in XLOOKUP function we will simply go in XLOOKUP we will insert two comma and then we will simply select wildcard character and we will insert enter and you will see it will give us the correct answer. You can see in X lookup function we have been selected this lookup array and the return array separately. But in VLOOKUP function there is only one range that we have been selected. Now let's say if we add or delete any column here, you will see the result of X lookup and VLOOKUP function. If let's say I will add here a column, you will see the result of VLOOKUP function has been changed because there is only one range on which VLOOKUP function relies. But in XLOOKUP function, we have separately specified the ranges we look up, that is lookup array and return array. So in case of VLOOKUP function, if let's say we add or delete any column, the result of VLOOKUP function may change or it will give the error as we have here. It will give us a error. So this is drawback of using VLOOKUP function and we can say on the other side, this is benefit or plus point of using XLOOKUP function because in XLOOKUP function, we are using the ranges separately. The return array can be on either side of the lookup array. For example, you can see this is the lookup array that is column H and the return array can be on the right side of lookup array and can also be on the left side. For example, let's say here we have an example. Let's say we want to find employee ID of this employee. How we can find with help of XLOOKUP? Simply we will use XLOOKUP function open parenthesis lookup value comma then lookup array for sure this column H then again comma return array because this time we want to find employee ID and here column G we have employee ID I will simply select column G close parenthesis enter and here we go. But in case let's say we want to find this employee ID with the help of VLOOKUP function VLOOKUP function open parenthesis lookup value employee name comma then table array because we need to find the employee id we select employee name and employee id then comma then column index number you know we cannot use column index number we cannot give the minus one because for vlookup function the table array in table array the first column should always be the lookup array but here you can see this is first column in which we have employee id and second column we have employee name so in such cases in which return array is on the right side of the lookup array, VLOOKUP function will not work. So this is the drawback of using VLOOKUP function and we can say this is the plus point of using XLOOKUP function that return array can be on either side, can be on right side and or can be on the left side. The similarly that we use XLOOKUP function as a replacement of VLOOKUP function, we can also use XLOOKUP function as a replacement of HLOOKUP function. If let's say here we have a data in which we want to find the total sales, here we can use HLOOKUP function as well as we can use the XLOOKUP function. So in place of using HLOOKUP function, let's say we use XLOOKUP function. How we will use XLOOKUP function open parenthesis, lookup value, this employee name, comma, then lookup array, we will select this row in which we have employee names, then again comma, then return array because we want to find here total sales, I will select this row number 10, then close parenthesis and here we go. You can see here we can easily use XLOOKUP function in place of HLOOKUP function. Let's say we change employee name, it will automatically give us the updated total sales. Now let's try to use the remaining arguments and let's try to see how we can use the remaining three arguments of XLOOKUP function. As we have been already discussed that how to use XLOOKUP function and why we should use XLOOKUP function in place of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP function. Now let's move toward discussing the remaining three arguments, three optional arguments that we have in XLOOKUP function. Now you can see we have three required arguments already here but now let's say we want to use the next argument that is fourth argument is if not found. This is needed if let's say we don't find this employee name here what we want to bring as a result. Let's say if we don't find employee name here we want to bring here zero and enter. 
now let's say david name is already available here let's say we change name from david let's say i change i enter and you can see xlooka function will not find relevant value or relevant sales for this employee because this employee name is not available here so it will give us the result as a zero let's say we want to change in place of zero we want to insert here not found what we will do we simply insert here quotation mark not found again quotation mark enter and here we go if let's say uh, x lookup function doesn't find this lookup value in this lookup array it will give us a result as not found if let's say now we insert here the correct name david and here we go we have a required result but let's say if x lookup function doesn't find this employee name it will give us a result as not found now let's move towards discussing the fifth argument the fifth argument is same that we have been discussed already i will insert here comma and you can see exact match approximate match or we can say the next smaller or next larger value or item that is a kind of approximate match and wide card character this we have been discussed already also now for sixth argument we will insert again the comma sixth argument is the order of search let's say we want to search from uh, top to bottom or bottom to top we can use this argument let's say for this david we have two sales here for david and how we want to find currently we are finding you can see currently we have david here david here we have reserved this but let's say we want x lookup to start searching from the bottom how we can do this first of all let's add one more line i will add here one more line and let's in place of 8456 i will insert here 4000 as a sale in the bottom of table and we want x lookup function to start looking up from the bottom and give us the first value or first result of first lookup value from the bottom how we can do this for this we can use the sixth argument after after fourth argument i will insert comma two times for sixth argument and search last to first i will select here last to first i will insert enter and you can see now it gives us result from the bottom in the bottom we have first result for the david that is 4000 so here we have 4000 let's say we don't want x lookup to start searching from the bottom we want it to start searching from the top we simply can delete this or otherwise we can simply select this search first to last enter and here we go you can see x lookup function can give us a result from top that is here for david we have sales 8456 so friends this is the benefit or these are the wonders that x lookup function can do that we look up s lookup and index match function cannot do so that's all for today friends if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and also don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends thanks for watching see you next video bye bye